Okay, everyone, welcome to game porting. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take the platformer kind of intro video I just did in Pygame and attempt to port it over using the turtle module and see what happens. I've never done this before, but I think it should be pretty straightforward. And this was a request. I wasn't going to do it, but then it kind of got in my head. And I was like, eh, let's give it a shot and see what happens. So let's see what the, let's see where the the, the coding takes us. Uh, before I get into that, just a quick shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If anybody else would like to join, click join down below. Also subscribe and click thumbs up. So let's take a look at what we have. Now, if you haven't seen the original Pi game version of this, this is it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run it and show you what it looks like. Or not. And it is not running because... Or is it running and I just don't have it open? Nope. Um, let's see here. It was running a few minutes ago. Of course, now it is not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that. It's kind of embarrassing. And I should probably just like restart the video, but that's just not my style. There we go. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And you can see I got the basic jumping mechanic and everything going. So. These are simply rectangles that I'm drawing with uh, Pygame. And so I'm rendering it with Pygame, of course. The window is created by Pygame. The title is created by Pygame. So everything that you see visually is from Pygame. Also, the input. So I'm using the arrow keys and the space bar to move around. All of that is coming from Pygame. So that's the part that I'm going to have to update. However, the rest of the code, I use my own kind of custom classes. So I made my own sprite class rather than using the built-in sprite class from the Pygame module. So that's going to help make it a little bit easier to port over. So there's some stuff here I have to say change and some things I don't. So let's just go ahead and get started. So since we're going to no longer be using the Pygame module, I'm going to go ahead and import turtle instead. And I'm not going to really be able to do a lot until I get rid of all the Pygame code. So let's just go through it line by line. So with Pygame, you have to initialize it, but in Turtle, you don't have to do that. But however, with the Turtle, you do have to set up a Turtle screen. Now, I usually use WN, so I'll stick to that because I saw it in a tutorial about five years ago, so I've been, always been doing it that way. Um, I, if I was thinking about it now, I'd probably change the SCR because it makes a little more sense because it's Turtle screen. Um, the caption, in Pi in Turtle would be win dot title, and one of the things that Pygame does that the Turtle module does not is that it includes a clock. It's very very handy to have the clock. We're gonna have some trouble later when we run the program. We see that you know the clock isn't there to keep things consistent. Um, I've tried a zillion different ways to get a, a, a working clock with the Turtle module, and it just never works. So if anybody has a good solution, let me know. And uh, just real quick, I do have the Turtle Graphics uh, documents open over here. So just in case we need to refer to that. OK, so we need to do a width and height. So we need to set up the window size. So I think that's win.setup. And I'm just going to go width and height. But I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. We'll, we'll find out later. Now, Pygame already has built-in colors, so I don't need to use these. But I think I can use them. So I'm going to leave them there and see what happens. Okay, so what I'm, going to do is I'm just going to change everything that I know I need to change and then just start fixing bugs. Now, one thing, if you watch the other video I probably I talked about a lot, um, is that the Pi game window coordinates are very different to the turtle module window coordinates. So the Pi game coordinates start in the top left at 0, 0. X is positive to the right, x is negative to the left, y is positive going down, y is negative going up. However, the turtle module is more probably what you're used to. 0, 0 is in the center, so y is positive going up, negative going down, but x is the same. x is positive going right and negative going left. So gravity is going to have to be negative, or we're going to have to subtract gravity rather than adding to it. So now, see here we created create the screen. Now we've already done that. Um, so I could have maybe uh, brought this code down below. And why don't we go ahead and do that? Just uh, what the heck? We can just bring that down here. 
put that in the same spot. And what else we gotta do? We gotta do setup and height. So X and Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't need it twice. And just out of curiosity, let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Um, we'll probably get some errors, but okay. Well, something happened. That was nice. Okay. Well, you see here it says Pi Game is not defined. So since we didn't use Pi Game, let's pop Pi Game back in there and see what happens. Uh, import Pi Game. I'm just kind of curious. Again, I haven't really done this before. Um, so okay, so stuff's not initialized. So yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything until we get most of the code taken out. Um, okay, so let's just keep going down through. Now, the sprite class I made, again, it's not the one from Pygame, so I don't have to really update this except for rendering. Okay, so rendering in the turtle module requires us to have some sort of pen. So I'm going to go ahead and create a turtle pen. Now, there's other ways we could do this. We could create a render object, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just going to do this this way because this is kind of how I've done it in other videos. So pen equals turtle dot turtle. Um, pen dot speed is zero. I say this a million times and nobody gets this. Listen to me carefully. This is not the speed that it moves. It's the, it's the rate that it's drawn and the, the way the frames are drawn. So don't do anything else with this. Just trust me on this one. Um, I'm going to say pen dot pen up. Can you tell I've answered that question a million times? And pen dot color, I'll make the default color. I'm going to try white. I think that I can use this, but I've never tried it before. Um, if not, I can use the built-in white for that. Uh, and we don't want to see the pen angel. So we say pen dot hide turtle. Again, the turtle module wasn't really created for making games, but lo and behold, it's pretty awesome for making games. So who knew? And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna take a look at this render method. And what it does is it draws a rectangle on the screen, okay? And it's got a certain width, it's got a certain height. Now, I'm trying to think of how we can do this. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try a different way of doing this. I'm gonna say, it's gonna be a little bit similar. So I'm gonna say pen dot pen up. I'm going to say pen.go to, uh, let's see, sprite.x minus sprite.width. And I'll explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it this way in a second. You'll, you'll see. Uh, pen go to sprite zero, sprite width zero, and sprite.y. Uh, now this is reverse to the, uh, it's reverse because we're going to be top left. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a square on the screen, okay? So sprite y plus sprite dot height divided by 2.0. This is a little different to how I've done it in previous tutorials, um, but usually I use the uh, shape size, but this time I actually just want to draw the shapes. And so I'm going to start in the top left. I'm going to go over to the top right. So that means plus for that one. And then I'm going to go to the bottom right. So that's plus x. And it's going to be minus y. And then I want to come back to the bottom left. So that's going to be minus x and minus y. And then I need to go back to the beginning. And so I'm just going to copy that. And did I get the whole thing? No. Control Z. Uh, that's what we wanted. And then I'm going to go pen dot pen up. Now I did miss something here. Um, so we got to go to the start and then put the pen dot pen down. So again, this isn't really an explanation of how the turtle module works. I assume that you already know how it works, or at least have some idea, and that this will make sense to you. Um, again, I don't need to change this because it's not using any of the Pygame stuff. We'll say it leave it at that. Um, again, not using pi game. Now, gravity is going to be reversed, as I mentioned earlier. We'll come back to that once we get it running. Um, okay. Now, here's another big difference. Um, pi game has this event get thing for you. Um, so all this keyboard stuff 
you know, works this way. So in Turtle, you gotta actually use some functions and you have to use keyboard bindings and stuff like that. So let's do keyboard binding. And so what, what do we got here? We got left. So I'm gonna say def uh, player left and pass. I'm gonna do def player right. And I'm gonna pass on that. Oops. And we also have player jump. So def player uh, jump. Now I could put this into the player class, which is probably what I should do. Uh, and maybe we'll, we'll change that in a bit. We'll see what happens. Uh, win dot listen. So we have to listen for keyboard presses. And then what we do is win dot on key press. Think it's going to be like this, and I'm using the left arrow, so I'm going to type left in cap with first letter capitalized. So win dot on key press player right, uh, right, and then win dot on key press player underscore jump. Now I'm going to say this again. <laughs> now I'm not sure if there's a capital S or a small S. We'll get an error later. Notice I did not put parentheses here. Okay, again, I get this question constantly. I don't know why it's this way. You just don't put parentheses here. And I don't put anything in here either. There's a way around that, but we'll leave it like this for now. Okay, so now that means I can get rid of this, because that's from the pie game thing. I'm gonna unindent a little bit here. Okay, and basically, all of this stuff is, oh, I already have a player left methods. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Um, sorry, I forgot about that. Player.left, player.right. And now this one's a little different because I have more than one piece of code. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick with this player jump. And maybe we'll, we'll put that up into the uh, class later, but maybe I'll just leave it like this. We'll see. Again, this is kind of an experiment. I don't even know if this is going to work, um, but I'm hoping it's going to work. But that is how we learn new things. Okay, and player.jump. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good. Okay, we don't have too much else to change. Um, that's kind of the interesting thing to me. Um, again, all of this stuff here has nothing to do with the Pi game module. Okay, so this is a, a lesson on you know, abstraction and using your code uh, properly. So if you have a separation between, you know, how you're using things, a lot of your code is reusable. Okay, now it says render, draw stuff, fill the background color. Now in Pygame, you have to do this every time in the main loop. However, uh, for the turtle module, we don't need to do that. We would just do up here, win.bg color and I'm gonna use this tuple, the black tuple. I, again, I think it's gonna work. If not, we'll fix that later. Um, oh, I missed, missed something there, but I'll, I'll leave it for now. Um, so I don't need to fill in the background color. Okay, in Pygame, you need to do that. In the turtle module, it just does it for you. Um, player render, I don't need to change that anymore because that's we already fixed that up above. Block render, I don't need to do anything because we fixed that up above. I don't need to flip the display, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do win.update. And the companion code to this is up here, I would do win.tracer0. Now, if you mess this up, okay, if you don't put win.tracer0, or if you put win.tracer0, but you don't put win.update, your computer or your editor will probably lock up. You'll have to re restart that program. And as I mentioned earlier, the frames per second does not work in the turtle module. It doesn't have a feature for that. That's one of the great things about Pygame. So no matter what system you use it on, it will keep you at a consistent frame rate. Okay, so as far as I know, we've gotten rid of all of the Pygame code. We've translated everything as far as I know, into turtle coordinates and such. Um, oh, okay, I'm gonna run it and just see what happens. And this is, again, this is the process. 
Okay, so you saw it flashed on, we got an error. Okay, so it says bad color sequence, 255, 255. Okay, I'm just gonna search over here for RGB. GB. Um, pen color. A. Okay. Pen dot color. That's what we did. Okay, got to check color mode. Um, ah, okay. So. Okay, so we have to use this color mode command. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So again, we're trying to make this as you know compatible with uh, the uh, Pi game module. So we have to change the color mode to 255. And if I'm reading this correctly, what that'll do is let us use 255, 255, 255 instead of 111. So that's the other option for that. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's good. Um, so that we no longer got an error, the original error. Now we got a second error, bad event type or key symbol space. So as I mentioned earlier, I wasn't sure it was a capital S or a small s. It's really annoying because left is definitely capital, right is capital, but space is small. Uh, thanks for the consistency, guys. Okay. All right. Going on. Ah, duh. Okay, it says sprite is not defined. I wonder how many of you caught that earlier. So up here I did sprite, but of course it's supposed to be self. So I'm gonna copy self, and now I gotta go through and put that everywhere I have sprite. So again, this is object-oriented programming, so if you're inside of a class, you need to use self. That is a rookie mistake, I apologize. But I'm feeling pretty good about this port. Um, again, porting is just the process of, you know, translating a program so that it works in another environment. In this case, it's working with another uh, you know, module. Okay, this is looking good. Um, okay, stuff's happening. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. All right, I'm, I'm pretty, okay, so this, this is good. This is good, I'm, I'm happy with this. Um, ah, we also, I also forgot to do uh, pen color. So pen dot pen color is self.color, I forgot to set the color. Okay, so you can see the program's running. Um, now you can see stuff's off the screen, and there is my uh, player. Again, we'll fix that in a second, or eventually. Um, now you can also see things are upside down, okay, because as I mentioned earlier, um, the turtle module uses a different coordinate system. Okay, so in the other coordinate system, it was zero to 1200, left to right. So 600 was the center. So I'm gonna switch 600 to zero, because that is the center of the screen. Zero, zero. Now 1000 would be uh, 200 from the right. So that would be 400. And I think 200 is gonna be the same. Let's go ahead and see if that fixes some of it. Okay, so things are now centered. Now this is, we gotta deal with the Y coordinate. So 200 is 200 from the top, which is going to be 400 minus 200. Well, that's the same. Uh, 400 should be zero. 600 should be minus 200. And 500 should be minus 300, I think. And these are the widths and heights, so they're not gonna change, I think. Okay, almost got it. Um, okay, so these three platforms are fine, but these two big thingies are off. So what did I do wrong there? Um, oh, okay, so 400. Okay. Those are the big ones. Okay. So 200... Actually, I should, I'm going to undo that and see what the, the original values were. Um, actually, that part was fine. Is the X, is the, uh, okay, I'm going to redo it. Um, I'll just figure it out. Okay, so let me go ahead and run that one more time. And so this is, zero, zero is about here. So this needs to come over to negative something. Ah, okay, so 200, that would be, 
Okay, got it. So that would be negative. Well, let's try. I don't think this is right, but let's try it. I'm just gonna close the old one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you couldn't see the screen there. It's it's on my screen. So I want these to come up and over a little bit. So I'm gonna make these uh, 400 and minus 400. Again, I'm just kind of playing around with the numbers. I I, sh I could have calculated it, but I didn't. Okay, so they're they're about where I want them. You can see the the player is still pretty far off, and I want this to come up a little bit. So the y is off. So this should be minus. Well, let's try minus 200. Okay, it's almost right. Um, again, it's I have two screens, so I wish it. I wish I could get it to stay on the same screen, but I can't. Uh, let's see, minus 100, 100. And I am happy with that. Um, it's pretty close. Um, I can move it up a little bit. Um, if these were solid, you wouldn't notice it. Now you can see how the player is over here and it has fallen because gravity needs to be reversed. And we need to start the player at, uh, we'll say zero and we'll make 400. And so we could just, probably the easiest way to fix this is to make gravity negative. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll make it negative one. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, space isn't working. We'll, we'll get back to that in a second. So you can see how it's kind of working. We're gonna, we got a couple little artifacts there that things aren't doing what I want them to do. And that's partly a result of you know, switching the, the coordinates systems. Um, so you notice how it's leaving a trail. Okay, so what we have to do is once we update, we're going to clear the screen. Okay, now we won't see the next thing until everything is drawn. So this actually draws the display. So I'm just going to do pen.clear and that's a turtle command. Okay, so now Okay, now you can see how fast it's moving. Um, space doesn't work, I know why, I'll fix that in a bit. Um, but this is what I was talking about earlier. The numbers are very different in the turtle module depending on your system. I'm running this on Linux right now and Linux is the fastest of, of the out of Mac and Windows. And uh, I have a whole video about that actually. And um, so I'm gonna make this a much smaller number. I'm gonna say minus 0.1. Uh, let's go ahead and run that and bring that up. It's, it's well, that's left and right. So I'll leave gravity the way it is. Um, left and right have to be changed too. Right now I'm using negative um, jump. I'm using, oh, okay. Jump's got to be positive. Um, so that's probably why it wasn't jump, possibly why it wasn't jumping. I'm going to just change everything to like really smaller, much smaller numbers. And I'm going to try one. And uh, I shouldn't have hard coded this. That was a programming error on my part. But let's, for now, let's leave it the way it is. All right. Well, all right. Let's go ahead and run that again. Sorry. I'll bring it up onto your screen. Okay. So I'm going to go left a little bit. Still a little fast. Friction's not working very well. Um, it's stopping, which is fine, which is good. And I still can't jump. And the reason I can't jump, I think, is again, if you watch the other video, you, sh you really should, is I had to add this little one to make the jumping work, but since the coordinates are backwards, I gotta change that to negative, okay? Um, I think. And, okay, it's still not jumping, but, all right, well, one problem at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to jump. Don't jump, player jump. Okay, that's an underscore, that's a good sign. All right, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, well, anyway, just real quick, uh, it's basically ported. Um, the graphics are working. Um, you know, it wasn't super duper, diff super duper difficult to do that. Uh, I think the gravity is still a little bit high, but uh, that's a different problem. Um, 
let's see, let's say make gravity 0 0.01. And again, you'll have to play around on your system to find like the right number uh, for your particular system that, that looks right. Um, that's, that's one of the limitations of the turtle module. You, you can't do that. Oh, and it's not coming back to the beginning because, uh, and again, you gotta, you gotta test it. Uh, this should be zero and four, I think it was 400. So again, every time I'm making a change, I'm testing it. Uh, <laughs> didn't come back. All right. Thanks for nothing. Uh, oh, cause the Y coordinates are, are reversed. So less than negative 400 and there we go okay maybe we have to in maybe we could increase the friction a little bit on this one but I still got to figure out why jumping's not working that's kind of annoying um, I'm gonna change that number to like a lower number just to see what happens um, I don't know if that's gonna matter but Make that 12. Okay, so the jumping's not working. So what I wanna do is I just wanna test it. Um, so I'm assuming that this part's working. So what I'll do is I'll go, I'll print jump. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and print, you know, jump two, two. So this will tell me which part of the code I've gotten to. So watch down here. I'm going to press the space bar. Okay, jump. So you can see how it says jump. And the, what's not happening is this collision is not registering. Okay, so I got to figure that part out. And that was actually one of the hard parts. <laughs> I remember that now. Um, so... Player Y, player. Ah, okay. Yeah. I got to reverse this because the Y coordinates, yeah, this Y coordinate thing is, is a pain because I have this reversed. So let me see if that'll work. Oh, jeez. Well, it kind of worked. I can't jump. That's annoying. Um, crikey. All right. So let's go ahead and think this through. So if the player Y is greater than block Y, that means it's below. Okay, so I reverse that, that's good. So player Y is greater than block Y, that means it's above. Yeah, so then block Y, ah, plus block height. Plus player height. And if it's lower than it, these gotta be minuses? Did I, I don't know if I did that right or not, but let's try that. Okay, that's a good sign. It's, it did stop this time. And it did jump. Okay, awesome, that did fix it. Um, yeah, so what I had to do was basically reverse this part and reverse this part as well to deal with the different directions on the different Y coordinates, but the jumping is just too much. So you can see how it's jumping too high. So I'm gonna bring it really low down to two. And again, your computer may be different. Okay, so now it's hardly moving at all. All right, so you can see, I think the friction is causing a problem. So I'm gonna make less friction uh, I'll try 95. Remember, the higher the number, the less friction it is. Zero would be, you can't move at all. Um, and I still think the dy, I'm gonna make that the one as well, see what happens. And again, it's just something at this point where I just really gotta kinda play with the numbers. Okay, that's kind of a jump. Okay, and I think the max speed is a little bit too high, so let's make that three. And again, I'm just playing with the numbers. You'll have to play with the numbers that work for your system. Again, because the turtle module doesn't have a way to you know, control that. Um, and I think we're gonna make the jump a little bit higher because we need to jump from platform to platform. But I think overall, this port has been fairly successful. 
Um, now I could draw these and make them, uh, you know, solid if I wanted to. I just don't, don't feel like playing around with that part. Um, okay, so it's kind of, oops, it's not quite enough. I'm gonna have to <laughs> have to go ahead. If I wanted to work like the other one, I'll make this 2.5, um, so we can get up there and hopefully jump from platform. Now again, once if you start adding levels, you gotta figure out the distances you want to do. So that's coming down, and. Okay, now that's looking like it. Again, it's still kind of, I think, doing a little bit too much with the, uh, I think the friction's still a little too high. I think at 9.9. Nine. Yeah, that's a lot more like the original. Okay. Okay, and there you go. There is your, oops, yeah, it's still probably a little bit too fast on the XY, but I can live with that. Um, this is cool. Okay, and there is your turtle version of the platformer. Um, so that was kind of, you can see kind of the process of porting it from one module, in this case Pygame, to the turtle. And you basically, as you saw, I had to do, you know, a couple things. I had to change, you know, all the display code. Um, I was able to use this by using this color mode. That was kind of interesting. I hadn't done that before. Um, so just trying to match what I had as closely as possible. Again, with the, with the turtle model, you need a, a pen to draw with. So I used a pen. Then I rendered those blocks just by, uh, how can I put it? By drawing them, you know, all just lines on the corners. Um, yeah, and then I had to change the coordinates because the coordinate system is very different. Um, I put this into a function. Let's get rid of that. We don't need this. But again, I could put this, I'm pretty sure I can put that into the player class, but I'll leave it the way it is for now. And uh, I had to do key binding instead, window.listen and win.onkeypress. And again, I had to reverse this because the Y coordinates are reversed. I had to reverse the signs here because the Y coordinates are reversed. Uh, I had to change this because the Y coordinates are different. <laughs> I changed this because the X and Y coordinates are different. Um, and then, yeah, there's a couple things I could take out. I had to add this and I had to clear the screen. So this functioned similarly to how the Pi game works. There's only one thing, uh, I'll just search here, uh, fill. Um, now there's a way to do this. Um, internal input. So there's a begin fill. Okay, so begin fill. There we go. Okay. So I think what we need, I'm going to try this. And I think what this will do, uh, I'm going to say pen.begin fill here. And then once I've closed it up, I can do pen.endfill. I think it needs an underscore. Oops. And hopefully this gives us exactly, except that wasn't green on the inside. Um, and so I think I have to set the fill color as well. Um, I think I have to do pen color dot self dot color. So, cause that's the outline color and the inside color in this case. Oops, or not. Bad color arguments. Um, what's it doing? The pen dot pen color. Yeah, I just changed that. Self dot color. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Ah, fill color. All right. 
pen dot color, uh, and then we'll do pen dot fill color, and we'll put that as self dot color. Okay, these docs are very helpful. Let's see if that works. Yes. Oh my gosh. You could not tell the difference between the two, uh, the two versions. I mean, it's just this one's a little faster. I could probably set the the speed limit a little bit lower. But it works almost exactly the same. Isn't that cool? Um, let me let me just open up the original real quick, the Pi Game version. Um, so here's the Pi Game version. You see, it's a little slower, just the way the numbers work out. Uh, and he, now again, it's just because I chose certain numbers here. I can make you just got to play with the numbers. Um, on your system, it might be a little faster or slower. And then here is the oh, that's the Pi Game version. And then let's take a look real quick at the turtle version. And that one appears down there. Why is that? And I think other than like a little bit of a speed difference, works exactly the same. So I'm gonna put that in the uh, win column. And that was pretty cool. That was a lot of fun actually. Uh, that's something I haven't really done before, and uh, never really had a need to. But uh, hopefully that'll you'll get the idea of the process. Uh, of porting from one module to the other, uh, especially those of you who are more familiar with the turtle module and didn't want to do Pygame, game. Hopefully this will help you, uh, yeah, uh, with your turtle stuff. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Again, big shout out to members. Uh, click like, subscribe, or join below. Thanks so much. Keep on coding.